Welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber or if you guys are new to my channel, I was an international student here in Canada for two years. I took post degree in accounting for two years and was able to graduate just last year and now I'm on my PGWP working full-time in a company as an accountant. For this video, I will be collaborating with none other than NCD Guzman or some of you may have known her as the CEO of SLE Canada. You may come across MCD Guzman through her YouTube channel, which is really, really helpful for a lot of aspiring international students. For this video, we had a conversation about accounting in general or being an accountant here in Canada. In this conversation, we kind of just like talked about accounting in general, job opportunities, and how and why we chose this program. MCD Guzman, she used to work as an accountant here in Canada before she created her own business, the SLE Canada. Uh, basically what SLE Canada is, it's a digital platform where people can connect and learn different professional. They focus on career growth while planning your immigration goals through mentorship and coaching. And regarding coaching and mentorship, I have a great announcement at the end of this video, so make sure to stay until then. So without further ado, let's begin. And Glare, uh, I remember when we had the uh, the podcast last time. It was I think that was like two months ago. I don't remember, but it w went off. Like so many people listen to that episode. Like you are like the number one episode in my podcast. Really? Alam mo naman tama na kiki nixan, di ba? How did we actually uh, come up with um, maybe? the program did you really like uh business in general or were you thinking to pursue other uh career when you were like in search of the program i really was thinking of getting like accounting course because that yeah. was my program before and it's easier yeah. for your study permit to get approved if or if you will take the same program as you did in the philippines or your home country but I was actually eyeing for another program. Like yeah, IT what program. is it? Oh, IT program. I know. It's, what? it's super different <laughs> from accounting. Well, I tried to yeah. do a research, but I ended up like realizing it's not really for me. So in this conversation, it was really fun to talk about how we were able to choose our program. So as you've seen, for me, my really chose the program because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, especially back in college. One thing for sure though is I knew that I didn't want to just take business management program. It is super broad for me. Uh, I'd rather have something na specific skill set. In at the MC side naman, I think she also chose accounting because she was being practical. The tip coming from us though is uh, at least choose something more specific but uh when you graduate that's okay yung job opportunities for you guys so for the next conversation we kind of like talk about our work here or our experiences here in canada as an accountant now let's talk about accounting okay so okay people would actually don't want to take accounting because the first thing that i always uh think is that oh it's math it's hard <laughs> It's not math. It's not math, guys. <laughs> I have two calculators here. Accountants to... can't live without calculators. Yeah, I still have my calculator here. <laughs> I think I remember when I got the job. It was because of my accounting background. Mm -hmm. They're specifically asking for a person who can uh, use Sage. Yeah, I think this is one of the top common softwares that they're being used yeah. here in Canada. I specifically uh, put that on my resume. I know how to use Sage. Yeah. It's completely different like when you're actually working on it oh, yeah. instead mm -hmm. of comparing it in school as you've seen both of us are not cpa back in the philippines but we have landed a good accounting jobs here in canada basically kasi dito sa canada although there is a great benefit for you if you have the cpa designation but without the cpa designation it doesn't mean that you won't have a great salary in the future and it doesn't mean that you're not going to have a great position so those are some of the great things about um, being an accountant here in canada or studying accounting here in canada so for this part of the conversation she asked me whether 
I regret choosing accounting? My answer basically Do you have any regrets? I could have asked that question like, <laughs> like <laughs> later, but one of the reasons why I'm, I'm glad I chose this program, it's not that it's easy to get a job, but it's like there's a specific market for accounting students because I'm a very um, decisive person. So even, even now, I'm not really sure what to do like Mm-mm. right now. Like, do I want to be a YouTuber? Do I want to be like an accountant? <laughs> but at <laughs> least like now after graduation, at least um, one thing that I just like have to decide it's like oh which company do i apply because like, every company needs accountant junior accountant yes, keeper, yes. So. like with my business right now gear i really value accountant yes. it will make your life so easy and also it will save you a lot of money <laughs> and, and right? you get to be very hands-on with your business yes. as well. i think for both of us we didn't really regret it to the point na Oh, I wish I didn't study accounting at all. But for both of us, we kind of like discovered it late. For example, in her situation, she has now a business here in Canada. She kind of like wished taking a program or a degree or a course that's related to what she's doing right now, like digital marketing, right? But at the same time, she's thankful for her learnings in accounting because now that she has her own business, she's able to apply all her learnings to her own business, right? So on my side, Naman, I was really grateful that I took this program because first of all, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do in life, even now, but I feel like while waiting or while I figure what I really want to do with my life, I'm gaining Canadian experience, I'm gaining experience in general while I earn money. There are a lot of perks as well in being an accountant. If ever in the future I wanted to have my own business, I know the accounting side which is really one of the most important things when you have your own business. Yeah, I've learned a lot and I'm very proud of studying accounting as well. So if you want to hear the whole conversation about this experience being as an accountant here in Canada, it will be uploaded on MC Guzman's podcast, which is Quantum Filipino Canadian, available on Spotify uh, by SLE Canada. And for the announcement, drumroll please. So we are inviting you, MC and I, uh, to a, an upcoming live Q&A session where you guys can ask us questions and where we'll be answering them more in line with accounting and being an international student in general. So make sure to follow this channel and also MC's channel for you guys to stay updated. I will be linking and dropping all of the information on the description box below so make sure to read that after you have seen this video. And another announcement, I have been selected as one of the mentors in SLE Canada. So if you guys want to book a mentorship call with me in collaboration with SLE Canada, bookings will be available starting on November 1, 2021. I will leave more details on the description box below. If you guys are thinking of studying accounting here in Canada or being an international student, Students here in Canada, make sure to check out SLE Canada and we can talk more about your plans in being here in Canada and especially your career goals here in Canada. I have also an upcoming video regarding my full-time job here in Canada wherein I talk about what my job is here in Canada, how I was able to get this job, what are my future plans here in Canada. So that video will drop next week after this video so make sure to stay tuned as well. Don't forget to follow my socials and at the MC socials as well for you guys to stay updated with our upcoming live event and also about the mentorship program. Bye! I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, I forgot to tell them that you're gonna be a mentor! <laughs> yeah, that's the main reason why I actually get Claire to be a student mentor where she would actually tell you... Like, just like this, we... we just told you about like our experience and you just have to picture it out if you want to see yourself doing that if mm-hmm. not then that's good to know even before you pick the program and that's what I'm, I'm like i'm trying to avoid here like you take a program that eventually you feel like it's gonna be a waste of money so as yeah. much as possible talk to those people that are inside in Canada and then who went through the program and see if you want to pursue that. But we're gonna have a live event where we're gonna talk to people that want to pursue accounting or business in general, of course. And um, it's gonna be live. 
Q&A with Blair. And just stay tuned because Blair is going to be a student mentor under Yay. SB Canada. Yay! Yay! I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm exactly my first uh, mentor that I approach. So it's going to be a lot of collaboration with Blair. <laughs> Thank you for listening, guys. Thank you, yeah, Blair. Thank you so much. Thank Bye. you, Bye.